Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get this amazing IPTV player for your Fire Stick, which works both with M3E links as well as Xtreme codes. And most importantly, it's totally free to use. The whole setup is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get that amazing IPTV player to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Downloader to your device. You can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. So in order to do that, we just go to search on your device and start typing Downloader in the search bar. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on it and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you got the loader, it's not over yet. We still need to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll have to go to the settings on your device by clicking on that button with the gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Let's open it. And from here, we'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you are unable to find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. We just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case, and in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. Let's open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then go to install known apps. From here we'll locate and loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet, and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, so we open it, and there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Finland right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go back to the list of apps on your device, start up the downloader application and wait until it loads for you. Then here on the left side menu, it's very important that you click on home and not on browser. And then here in that search bar, we'll need to enter a link, which is going to be iptvsmarters.com. So let's enter it together. Once again, it's iptvsmarters. Dot com. So here you go, there's the link, you can see it on your screen right now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously if you make a mistake, then the link is not going to work. After that you have to click on go and while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video, it truly really helps me a lot 
and this way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now after the website has opened, finally, we have to scroll it down until we find the download page. So keep scrolling. There it says downloads. We are almost there. So there it says Android app and there is a blue direct download APK file button. That's exactly the button that we need to click. So if you click that button, you'll get the newest version of IPTV Smarters. But if for some reason you are looking for an older version of the app, it's also available on the website. If you need an old version of the application, you would just click on the older versions right here. But of course, we are going to download the newest version now. So we click on direct download. And in a couple of moments, the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course, it all depends on your connection speed. And now the download is starting for me. As you can see, it's going pretty fast. Will just take only a couple of seconds. Then we have to click on install and wait until IPTV Smarters gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you are using, of course. And then don't click on open yet. Instead, press on done because this way we'll have an option to actually delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you would get rid of unnecessary files from a fire stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default you don't have too much of free space on your fire stick anyway. Now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it, and there you'll find IPTV Smarters, which we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, IPTV Smarters is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Then finally, we'll open the IPTV Smarters app, select your device type as a TV, of course. And from here, you basically have two main options. So if your live TV provider gave you an extreme code, you would click on the extreme codes right here. There, add any name to your playlist and then use the username, password and the link that were given to you by your service provider. After that, you have to click on add a playlist and then the IPTV playlist is going to appear in your list. Alternatively, if your IPTV provider gave you an M3U link, you would need to click on M3U playlist. From here, add any name and then either upload that playlist as a file or click on M3U URL, which is probably a better way for the Fire Stick, and enter the link right here at the bottom. After that, you click on add playlist and it's going to appear in the list of playlists on your device. It's going to be right here, so you will need to click on the list of playlists and yep, it's going to appear right here for you. So today you learned how to get one of the best IPTV players here Fire Stick, as well as how to set it up on your device. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye bye.